everyone and welcome back to my channel! You know guys, lately I see more and more often comments from you asking if I'm still going to continue working on my Disney Princess doll collection. Well, and the answer is yes, yes, of course, of course I'm going to continue working on them because I really love making Disney Princess dolls. And there are actually still a couple of them that I have to make here in my studio. And after the princesses, we still can make the villain dolls. It's also gonna be a lot of fun. And I have no idea actually why I took such a long break between my different Disney projects, because I really love making all these popular Disney characters. Well, and today we're going to make Elsa from Frozen because I've promised you in my last video that we're going to slowly transit into winter slash holiday repaints and today we're going to make the winter princess from the Disney collection. And I'm actually quite excited about this project because I really love Elsa. I think she's a very interesting character, very interesting princess. And my mom is going to help me today with the outfit for my Elsa doll. So at least the dress is gonna be really pretty because my mom is really good at it. So, and that's it probably, what else to say? That's it, Elsa, Frozen, of course don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos on Fridays, and of course hit the like button to support my art here on YouTube. Yeah, and that's it, I think I can start working. Let's make Elsa, guys! So, and this is the doll that will become our canvas today. I think she has quite a right face shape. So now let's quickly remove it all, her outfit, hair, makeup, and then we'll be able to start creating a completely new look for her. A hair dryer, like always, it stays the fastest and the easiest way to make the head soft and to melt the glue inside of it. Then I disconnect the head from the body and after this I pull out all the mess from the inside of the head using my tweezers, all the short hair and all this nasty glue. And to remove her makeup, I will use, like always, pure acetone. Oh, and by the way, I want to try something cool. I want to try to transfer her entire face to a cotton pad. One of you suggested it in the comments, and I thought it was a really fun idea, so let's try it. Well, it's not perfect yet, but there is a future. There is a future definitely if I practice some more. Now we will give her new hair and look, I will use this frozen saran for my future Elsa just because the name whispers, you know, to use it. So now let's paint her head with white acrylics and then I will take my rerouting tool and we will place strands of new hair into the holes in her head.
So, and this is how it looks a couple of hours later. Very good, very pretty, how it should be. Now let's glue it all from the inside with tacky glue, and then I will let it dry for a day. Now let's cover her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this we can start drawing. And I'm gonna start actually with covering her face with a layer of white pastels to get a very light pink canvas. Elsa has huge blue eyes, it's like a significant feature of her. So I'm going to give this doll bigger eyes than I usually draw on my dolls. It will look very cartoonish and very cute in the end, and it's gonna look very Elsa in some way. Then I take soft pastels and I create a very light, natural skin tone. Elsa has purple eyeshadows, so I will draw them on my doll as well. And then I can actually draw the rest of her face, all the tiny details, like the irises, the shadows, highlights, lips, eyelashes, all these things. And in the end I add reflections to her eyes with white acrylics.
So this is the face, looks super cute and cartoonish with these huge eyes, I really love her. And now I still need to blush her body to make it the same color like the face and for this I will first of all sand the body with nail buffers like always to remove the gloss from the surface. Then I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this we will blush it with my soft pastels. Okay, here are the face and the body, they look very good, now we can let them for a while, I'm really happy with this part of my job. And now let's move on to the outfit. And I've decided to give my Elsa this dark blue dress, I don't know, it's such a pretty one, she looks like a real winter princess in it. I think this is my favorite Elsa's dress from the cartoon. So and now you can see my mom recreating it out of a piece of gorgeous blue velvet. She has already connected the front and the back together and now she is making and attaching the long sleeves. And now the cool part of the dressmaking starts. You can see my mom has stretched a piece of dark blue silk on a special frame. She placed it above a sketched winter pattern. And now she is transferring the pattern to the future train of the dress using silver acrylics. And after this she will apply some silver glitter on top of it. And you can see now how beautiful and winterish it looks, really super pretty, amazing. My mom has also applied the pattern to the bottom of the dress and now she needs just to attach the train to the dress and to add a piece of fluffy fur to the top of it. So, and here is finally the finished dress, I've got it finally into my hands and it looks absolutely stunning, look, just the train got a little bit wrinkled but it's not a problem, I will have to iron it before making the final pictures but for the rest all the patterns look absolutely amazing and super sparkly, really super pretty, absolutely, 10 on 10. So now we still need to add a bunch of rhinestones to finish it up completely and these are hot fix rhinestones and I will use my hot tool for fixing rhinestones to do it.
And now I think we can officially call the dress finished. I'm very happy about it because it looks like the right dress for a winter princess. And now let's make a pair of shoes for her. And you can see now in the pictures that Elsa's shoes look like they've been made out of, I don't know, some sort of snow crystals and snowflakes. So let's try to make something in a similar style. And I'm starting with making a pair of basic shoes out of white warbler thermoplastic. So this is where I've ended up and now we will decorate the shoes with a bunch of iridescent glitter pieces. The front and the back of the shoes I will decorate with these sparkly snowflakes. And then the soles and the heels I will paint with iridescent paint.
Well guys, I think we're done with the shoes. They look super pretty. Really like a pair of real snow crystal shoes. And they look really very similar to the Elsa's actual shoes. So this part of our project has been finished and now we can move to her hairstyle. And it's gonna be actually pretty easy today because we will make a long braid and it's not really difficult at all, well especially if you compare it to curling doll hair for three hours. Today it's gonna be quite an easy task. So this is her finished hairstyle, we are almost there guys, we are almost done. Now I just want to attach false lashes like always, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is finally my winter princess doll and I can tell you honestly, I'm totally in love with her eyes today and I have a feeling that I'm going to keep drawing bigger eyes for a while. What do you think guys? Which style of eyes do you like most? My regular average smaller like medium eyes or the bigger ones? Her lips also turned out very cute, love them today. Well, my opinion about the outfit you already heard a couple of minutes ago in this video. So now I think I would love to hear your opinion about my version of Elsa from Frozen. And since I've got back to making Disney princess dolls, you can help me guys to decide which Disney princess should I make next. I've made already Snow White, Jasmine, Merida, Mulan, two Cinderella's, yeah, and that's it probably, I don't know, maybe I've forgotten someone, but anyway, the rest of the characters I still can and should make. So please write me in the comments uh, which Disney princess would you like to see next. Well, and this doll is available right now for sale on eBay for three days, so if you are a fan of Elsa, please check out the link in the description box under this video down below. Maybe, maybe she's gonna be yours. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not with us yet. Hit the bell button. And I will see you ready very soon in my new doll repaint video. I wanted to say next week Friday, but I'm not sure about the next week Friday. Probably it will be in two weeks, but we will see. So see you soon in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.